I'm not, I'm not sure if that'll show up on the movie or not. Now, Tom, I'm guessing you've seen a few Fourth of Julys uh, in yes, your career. A couple. Has the way uh, the nation has celebrated its birth changed over the years, or pretty much the same? Well, pretty much the same. Uh, mm -hmm. A good celebration every Fourth of July. Yeah, the old uh, hot dogs. You'd have hot those dogs as a kid. and hamburgers and, yeah. and cherry pie. We need some cherry pie here. And there was a great line on The Simpsons once when they said, uh, there's no better way to celebrate the birth of your country than by blowing up a little piece of it with fireworks. Yeah, uh, I had fireworks I, too when uh, you uh, were... Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. In fact, in my town of Detroit, they have an international fireworks uh, from Detroit, Windsor, uh, Canada. Yeah. And it's fantastic. It, uh, they go out in the middle of the Detroit River and and they go off for hours. Uh, gorgeous. Probably a tough question, but if you uh, had to pick your most memorable 4th of July, could you nominate uh, which one? I would say it was one of them down there in uh, uh, sitting on the Windsor side of the Detroit River and uh, looking across the city of Detroit and, and watching the fireworks uh, go off there on, uh, on yeah. the 4th. Would, uh, getting a little nostalgic here uh, while we're doing that, uh, Tournament Road, tell us how that may have changed. Were you one of the first people to buy, buy no, in here? I, actually I wasn't. I came in and uh, I bought in 93. And, right. uh, of course I watched uh, your house and uh, the ones around here getting built at that time. Yep. Uh, but uh, I, I was actually the second uh, owner of my house. You know what I found recently when we cut in under the uh, stairs to make a little bit of uh -huh. storage space, there were three or four blocks of wood that the builders had just left in there because they were too lazy to take them out that, to their truck. That's, that, that's not surprising at all. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and the street, I mean, great to see uh, everybody uh, everybody here tonight. Uh, fair to say that the uh, the street has uh, you got a little younger over the over the years? Very much younger. In fact, my, when my daughter, when I bought the house, my daughter moved in uh, for the first year. She stayed here for about a year and a half. Um, uh, and uh, she said it was like uh, being on Golden Pond. She said everybody on the, everybody on the street was uh, a senior and elderly. There were no children at all right. on the whole uh, street. And, uh, and as a proud uh, grandfather who's still young at heart, do you like to see uh, a, a little bit it. of younger blood? I love it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I always think back to my grandmother. Uh, my grandmother lived in a house uh, in Dearborn, Michigan that uh, it was a two-story. She lived in the second story and it was right across the street from Lowry High School and all of the kids were there and she would sit in the window all day long watching the kids play and loved it. If you did that today you'd probably get arrested uh, because they think you're a watching, predator. Watching the kids. <laughs>